Hi there, Chickadee. Welcome to Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla, and welcome to my bathroom. It's been a long day. I'm ready for bed, and I'm getting ready to take off my makeup and do a nighttime routine for my skincare. So I thought I'd bring you along in my bathroom, and we'd share it together. The first thing I'm going to do is take off my makeup. I like to use makeup wipes. I have two here from e.l.f. I have the hydrating water cleansing cloth and I have the makeup remover cleansing cloth. I like both of these, but I really think I like this one a little bit better because it's hydrating. These are so terrific because they're so handy. They come in this great little package. You can take them anywhere, travel, your bathroom, you're good to go. You just pop one out and then start removing your makeup. And these cleansing cloths by e.l.f. and by Neutrogena both really do get all of that makeup off. I usually have to use more than one cloth because I wear a lot of makeup. So I just kind of start at the top, work my way around, make sure you go all the way down to the neck. Yikes! There's no rush with this. Get all the makeup off. I'm moving on to a second cloth now because I really want to make sure that we have all of the dirt, the grime, the stress of the day, and all the makeup off. I like these two because they're gentle around the eyes, yet they do remove the makeup without you tugging and pulling. Now that we have the makeup off, I'm going to cleanse my face. On Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I use Retin-A. And when I use Retin-A as my treatment ointment, I use a hydrating cleanser. But I'm not doing that tonight. I'm going to be using different products, not my Retin-A. So when I'm on a night that I'm not using my Retin-A, I like to use this exfoliating cleanser from Neutrogena. This is the Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser. It has alpha and beta hydroxy formula with gentle exfoliators. And because I just started started using the Retin-A, I find that it's important to exfoliate the skin in between so you can get all that dead skin off. So we're going to dampen the face and now just take some of your exfoliating cleanser, rub it between your fingers and start massaging it in. This is a very gentle exfoliator. I love this cleanser. I have very sensitive skin. It does not bother my skin. It's not only great for removing the dead skin, but if you have zits like I tend to get, or if you have large pores or blackheads, this really helps take care of those. So that's why it's one of my favorite products. I do not use this exfoliating cleanser around my eyes. I don't want to be too harsh around my eyes. But this doesn't burn or anything. It just really gets in those pores, declogs everything, gets everything clean. And now I'm going to wash it off. A cosmetologist once told me that when you wash your face to use lukewarm water and then when you rinse it to use cold water. So that's what I typically do. Just patting it dry. I don't want it completely dry because I want to add some more product. And when your skin is a little wet, it absorbs it better, so they say. And now that I've cleansed, I'm going to use the Neutrogena Pore Refining Toner. I love this toner because it just works beautifully with that exfoliating scrub. It doesn't burn even after we've exfoliated. Works on any blackheads and it really does take off any excess makeup that might be left. Looks good. Tonight, we're actually going to try something new. I'm really excited about this. I ordered these from The Ordinary. The Ordinary is a new skincare line that is taking the internet by storm. So I wanted to share my first impressions with you. Now for this, for my nighttime routine, I am following exactly what The Ordinary's website says to do. So I am starting with this product, which is called Buffet. And they say that it's called a buffet because it has a smorgasbord of ingredients that is fantastic for your skin. You're supposed to apply this both morning and night. They all come in beautiful bottles with great droppers. So according to the directions, we are going to apply a few drops to the entire face in the AM and PM, in this case PM, after cleansing. And what I can tell you about this so far is that it is a multi-technology peptide serum. And as we age, we need peptides. So I'm going to take a few drops, 
put it in my hand. Now it doesn't say how much to use or how little to use, so I am just going to apply it until I feel that it has a good coating. It feels very nice, very soothing. It doesn't really have a scent. Oh, I'm loving the way this feels. I'm getting this around my crow's feet, and I'm also taking this on my neck and my chest. Now ladies, chickadees, we often tend to ignore the neck and the chest. And you can do some great things for your face and hide those lines and wrinkles. The chest and the neck give away the age every time. So I have made a commitment this year to take better care of my neck and my chest. And they say that when you are applying products to your neck, up here to pull it up. You want to pull the neck and chest application up. The next product in the regimen that it says to apply is this Advanced Retinoid 2%. The directions say apply a few drops to the face in the PM. It also says do not use with other retinoid products. So that's why I'm using this on a night that I'm not using my Retin-A. So I'm going to take a few drops. I do love these glass bottles. I also love that they are dark, so that helps keep them from breaking down. Got my few drops. Ooh, very liquidy. And I'm just going to pat it around. Has a little bit of a scent. It kind of smells medicinal. Rubbing it all around, getting it in my crow's feet. And I am going to take this and try this under the eye. I'm not getting too close to the eye because it is a retinoid product. And I'm gonna take what's left over and put it on my neck and my chest. You can also put it on your hands too because your, your hands show age as well. Might even put it up here near my eyebrows. I'm liking this, really liking this. Doesn't burn, no irritation. I have super sensitive skin. No irritation whatsoever. The next thing we're to apply in the regimen, according to the Ordinary's website, is 100% organic cold press rosehip seed oil. Daily support formula for all skin types. And the directions tell us to apply once a day to the face, ideally at bedtime. So that's what we're doing. Oh, look at that beautiful oil. No harsh odor. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I want to see if it feels as luxurious as it looks. Oh, it does. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. This feels lavish. Oh, this is a remarkable oil. Oh my gosh. It's so soothing. This is luxury in a bottle. And believe it or not, this stuff is super affordable. Wow! I have never felt a facial oil as good as this. It is just heavenly. Wow! I am super impressed so far. This is just so emollient. You can almost feel it nourishing right away. I am so impressed, very pleased that I purchased these so far and pleased that I'm sharing them with you. Put some of this on my hands because I don't want to waste a drop of this. It is just delicious. Wow. And the final step in the nighttime routine for the ordinary is the caffeine solution 5%. This is to reduce the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and puffiness. Eye contour pigmentation is a fancy way of saying dark circles under the eyes. And the directions tell us to massage a small amount onto the eye contour area AM and PM. Again, this one as well as the other one in the really nice glass bottles, really nice dropper. It says small amount, so I'm just going to start out with a couple of drops and see what that does. Taking my ring finger, because that is the most gentle finger with the least amount of pressure around that sensitive eye area. This feels really nice too. 
It says in the contour area where you have the darkness, the pigmentation, and the puffiness. So I'm really focusing down here. And I probably could have used a smaller amount. I used a couple of drops. I think one drop would have done it. Wow, this is really nice too. This video is not sponsored in any way, but I gotta tell you, with all four of the things that I have tried so far, I am super, super impressed. And they say caffeine is excellent for that under eye area. I've never tried a caffeine solution before, so I'm really excited about this one. And that's it for my nighttime cleansing routine and my new skincare for the days that I'm not using Retin-A. Now, this is the first time that I've tried it, so it was my first impressions and I enjoyed sharing those with you. Now, it takes a little time for any new skincare regimen to really take effect. So, I'm going to check in with you in a few weeks and do a full review and then we'll check back in a few months and see what it's done to my face. I am really excited about this. Now, this video is not sponsored sponsored in any way. I heard about these online and was super excited to try them. So I placed an order, bought them right away, and I just can't wait to see if they live up to their name. Because if they do, wow, we may have just struck a gold mine at a very affordable price. Thanks so much for joining me in my bathroom tonight for my nighttime routine. I'll share my daytime routine with you at another time. If you enjoy these types of videos on skincare, give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments section. Also, if you like first impression videos, let us know about that too. And if you have tried any of the ordinary products, we would love to hear what you think about them. What do you think of them? What have you tried? What works? What doesn't? How's it doing on your skin? Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos. Be sure that you subscribe and hit the little bell so that you never miss one of our uploaded videos. I'm Carla from Two Real Chicks, and until next time, take care, chickadees. We love you.